Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing the Pioneer Woman Beef and Bacon Meatloaf and the Macaroni and Cheese. So I'm going to talk about these one at a time. The Beef and Bacon Meatloaf has a tangy sweet tomato topping. It was $5.98 at Walmart. It says... Who's hungry? My family tested recipe takes this classic comfort food dish to the next level with a generous addition of smoked bacon pieces and a hearty glaze of tangy sweet tomato sauce. Enjoy with my Pioneer Woman mac and cheese and a vegetable. Well, we we don't have a vegetable uh, and she doesn't make a vegetable uh, side dish, but I did pair it with the macaroni and cheese and I hadn't even seen that. Believe it or not, that's the truth. Um, See, so half a container is 440 calories. Uh, what you want to do, it has microwave instructions. It does not have instructions for the oven. So you have to make this in the microwave. You remove the tray from the outer packaging. Remove sauce pouch from tray and set it aside. Remove meatloaf from plastic pouch and place on a microwave safe dish. Heat on high for two minutes. Carefully remove from microwave. Snip open sauce pouch and squeeze sauce onto meatloaf. Use the back of a spoon to spread over the surface. Place back into the microwave for one minute or to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Let stand one minute before slicing and serving. So let's see what it looks like. This one comes with plastic on the outside, whereas the macaroni and cheese uh, does not have plastic on the and outside. these are refrigerated, not frozen. Yes, these are near, at our Walmart, they're in the meat department, uh, where you have other uh, mills like this. Okay, so this is your meatloaf, and here is your sauce packet. So this we will open up and put in here, it says on a micro safe plate, but I would think you could put it in there. I know it does say put it on a plate, but why would they give you a, the tray? Mm. And it says... Uh, it says something about microwavable on the tray. Does it? Top pack, dishwasher safe, microwavable, so why not put it in there? I don't know. Cause, I would just put it in there. Okay, so this is that meal. <laughs> And now this one is the macaroni and cheese. It is creamy cheese sauce with cavatappi pasta. Is that how you would mm -hmm. say it? It's the kind of pasta. It, it, it was $3.97. So the main meal was $5.98. This was $3.97. It says, who's hungry? To say macaroni and cheese is a favorite in my home is an understatement i start with smooth and creamy american style cheese and blend in cheddar parmesan and a dash of special spices to make the flavor really pop cavatappi pasta adds a unique texture that ensures each bite is bursting with cheesy flavor and i know that says mac and cheese i said macaroni and cheese it's okay uh one cup or 210 grams is 310 calories, and there are three, about three servings in this container. The heating instructions, once again, it's microwave only. It says remove tray from outer packaging, pierce the plastic film to vent, place tray on a microwave safe plate, heat on high for two minutes, carefully peel back film and stir contents, recover, with the film and continue to heat on high for an additional two minutes or until hot. Carefully remove from microwave, let stand for one minute, remove film and stir well before serving. So this is just like any of those other uh, side dishes that you get. So this is how this looks. And so you uh, put some um, holes in the top of it like this. And then, so we'll heat it for two minutes and then recover, like it said, and then heat it again, uh, stir it and heat it again for another two. And we're gonna go ahead and heat up our um, uh, meatloaf as well, and then we'll be back. Okay, this is how it looks out of the microwave. And there is, this is very, very cheesy, as you can see. And I wanted to cut this meatloaf for you on camera so you can see the inside of it. 
Okay, so that is, this is how it looks on the inside. No, it's not focused yet. Mm, close up. Mm, oh, steam. shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Let me maybe turn it around. Maybe that'll help. Or just tilt that one up. There we go. So I'm going to get it on our plate and we'll be back to try it. Okay, we're going to try the macaroni and cheese first. Normally I would put salt and pepper on there, but I'm not. It's got a good flavor to it. It really does. Um, it's good and creamy. The, I like the pasta. The pasta's cooked just the way I like it. It's not mushy. It's not hard. It's just that right amount of firmness, but still soft. That's a very... <laughs> I, I really like those noodles. I don't know that I've ever had those noodles mm -hmm. before. I've had them before noodles. The, it's very, very cheesy. What it reminds me of, except this is better, uh, but it reminds me of when I make stovetop um, macaroni and cheese and I use Velveeta cheese. Oh, Velveeta, yeah. But I like this better. It reminds me of a Velveeta meal, if you think about it. One mm -hmm. of the box meal, the, the package meals yes. for Velveeta. Except the flavor is better. Yes, that the, really um, has a nice flavor. It actually flavor. has a, whereas Velvia has a very distinct flavor, this one has a really good real cheese flavor. And it's mm -hmm. very creamy. Um, it's good. It is. That, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like you've made it on the stove top and you've put um, like milk cheese and cheese. That's, mm -hmm. that's good. I, that that mm -hmm. mac macaroni, I would definitely recommend. Mm -hmm. And it only takes four minutes to make. I mean, yeah, that that was very good. I think this meat helps you get a little. No, you can't quite. I mean, you can cut it's, the pork, but it's a dense. It's dense. I was gonna try to cut the pork, but I don't think I can. Yeah, it it is a. Uh, it's, it's almost uh, reminds me of a canned ham. <laughs> you know that texture? It's yeah. kind of dense and, and close packed together. That doesn't taste like any meat loaf I've ever had. No. You know what that is? It reminds me more of a Salisbury steak. It reminds me meal. of sausage. Like a like a sausage lynx. Yeah, I could buy that. Yeah. The the texture reminds me of the salt of the the um, Salisbury steak patties that they have. You know, they're kinda very densely packed. Mm -hmm. Um they don't come apart very easily. Not what I would consider meatloaf. No, because meatloaf we make with we make ours with hamburger and uh, lots of ketchup and onion and, and bread crumbs. Um, so no, it wasn't what I consider meatloaf. But if you liked uh, the flavor of sausage links, I really think you would like, like that. smoked sausage. Not smoked sausage. Yeah, not sausage sausage. Smoked sausage. No smoked sausage. I wonder yeah. if that's because the bacon is adding a little smokiness to it. May, I bet that's what it is. It probably is. I yeah. forgot it had bacon mm -hmm. in it until you just said that. But the, what what really throws me is the texture. I mean, it's not a bad texture. It's mm -hmm. just a very dense, really packed texture. And, and the meatloafs we make are more loose. Yes, when and you're more expecting... Granular, more granular, right. bigger chunks of like hamburger and stuff. Whereas this is very small and packed together really densely. Right. Like a canned ham. I mean, it's very right. dense. Yes, it really <laughs> is. Although I do like the... The U-shaped sausage, the the Polska uh, kielbasa, Polska kielbasa. Yeah. But that's the kind of texture you really get, get from it, and it remind the flavor is even very similar to it. Not mm -hmm. exact, but it's it reminds you of it. I like them though. I would get either one of these again. I would too. I like the macaroni uh, probably better than the meatloaf, but the meatloaf I like the flavor of the meatloaf. The texture is a little closer to me, but I, I like the flavors are really really. Mm -hmm. So I would, I mean, I would definitely try them out. You for can sure. tell I like the macaroni. I ate it all. Well, I was trying literally, to literally. I've eaten it all. <laughs> it no, was no. very good. Very good. Yeah. So if uh, if you see these at Walmart, don't be afraid to get either one mm -hmm. of them. Um, I can't imagine them being in any other store. I don't know. You all will have to let me know. I know that. she's got really close ties with Walmart. She does. So I don't know if they sell her stuff anywhere else but yeah, Walmart. Sure. So if you see them in, in any other store, you'll have to let us know. But just make sure you look for them in the meat department at Walmart. And thanks for watching.